for a new listener or for a new student, my opinion is if you go through the 2022 mentorship, there's like 40 videos there. It doesn't take you long. You can go through that in about a week comfortably. I probably would counsel you to go through over a course of like three weeks to spend an appropriate amount of time with each video and think about what questions come up after you watch the video and see if they don't get answered in the next or subsequent lessons that's in that series. And then as soon as you're done that, go right into looking at the silver bullet because they'll complement one another. And if you look at that and you have a well-rounded approach to, to risk management, not over leveraging, using the smallest leverage that's available, you have it. You do that until you get more experience and your experience where you're not hopped up on goofballs to trade with more leverage because you've been successful. When you get to the point when you're successful and you're consistently able to do it, but you don't feel the inclination to go out there and try to over leverage because you know that if you do that, it's going to cause you to be anxious in a trade that even though you know you can do very well, you've historically done it with either paper trading or, or tape reading before the paper trading, demo trading rather. Um, I'm, I'm talking my age, I know. <laughs> the, uh, that moment, that uh, the word escapes me right now, it's, it's a, that very moment where you know that you're unfazed by the consistency. And it's a very hard thing to describe because until you feel it, until you in, in experience it and endure it yourself, you really won't really appreciate what I'm saying here until you get to that point. But when you know that you know, that you know that this is going to repeat, but you also know and are comfortable with the idea that you as the operator in the model, you're probably going to mess it up sometimes. You might get it wrong. It's okay. It won't, it won't undo you as a trader. It won't undermine the, the efficacy of the, the trading model or the concept. But you know that tomorrow, if it was a trading day, next week, you know, next February, next you know, September, you know the things that you're looking for in terms of a trade, they're going to materialize in the time frames that given day. It's going to happen. That's power. Ask anybody out there, what time and day is their harmonic horseshit going to appear in the chart place? It ain't going to happen. They, they can't tell you that. They cannot tell you that. Why do you think these high-frequency trading algorithms have billions of dollars behind it? You think they're just going to risk it on some willy-nilly bullshit? Some Rudy Pooh candy ass, fruity fresh and tooty bullshit that has no idea why the market's going to go up and down. They're going to risk billions of dollars with multiple entries in the span of 15 minutes. Because they're doing things on a statistical probability that you're unaware of. I gave you a stripped down to the brass tax of what time a simple little strategy that's visual. There are things that I know that you can't see in price, but I gave you something that's very, very specific, and it's visual, and you can set a clock to it. It's going to occur at the times I told you it's going to occur. It's ICT time, okay? It's ICT time. I can time the market. <laughs> Y'all think it says I can't trade. Shit, I'm about to show you, motherfuckers. You have so many things that I wished I had. I'm envious of you. <laughs> I'm so envious of all of you. I wish, I wish I could have had this coming up. I would have had so much more fun. I could have saved myself so much pain and anguish, loss, physical ailments, relationships, good grief, everything. And despite having all these advantages, some of you don't even recognize what you have. It's astonishing to me. For, for the folks that are making money now, they're, they're convinced. You're never going to convince those people that what they've invested in terms of time and learning how to do, you're never going to convince them that there's something else that they can do that's easier, that's more precise, that is highly effective to this degree. You're never going to do it, folks. It's never going to happen. And see, that's why everybody else out there that has some kind of Mickey Mouse service, some kind of retail logic with all kinds of indicator horse shit on it, all these things that's taking your attention away from price action, that's why they're scared shitless right now because the marketplace is diminishing. And so you think all these people are going to learn how to trade ICT and they're going to change the algorithm. 
for the last time, okay? Pull up a chair. Pull up a chair. Sit down, okay? I want you to listen to me. When the market's going to go down, it doesn't matter whether you know it's going to go down or not, but if the market is going to go down, someone is going to be in that move making money. Someone is going to be in that move losing their ass. People that are in the marketplace that have lots of money at risk, they put stop losses in. Okay, Large traders have large positions. They have to have some measure of protecting that equity. They're not just letting it just rip and roll. Smart money does not use stop losses because they already know what they're participating in is going to happen. They're a tier of trader at a central bank level. You're never seeing them. They're not teaching things. They're not commenting on CNBC. They're not writing fucking books. They're not doing teaching circuits. They're out there cannibalizing every one of us. When I talk about smart money, that's who that is. 